Hey there, Aries. Sun, moon, and rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on with your weekly general astrology and tarot forecast for the week starting April 8th, 2024. So remember, the astrology is the weather, and the tarot is the traffic. And of course, if you ever want to get a personal reading with me, you can go on ahead to my website, integrativemysticism.com. So what's going on when it comes to your week? Well, on the 8th, we have our solar eclipse, new moon conjunct Chiron in Aries, in your sign, which is all about new roads, new beginnings. But because Chiron is in the mix, we've also got painful graduations going on at the same time. And while this is actually a, a really strong new moon, especially when it comes to you, because it's in your sign and it's all about granting personal wishes, granting desires that you have maybe been keeping to yourself, things that maybe you don't even share with other people, as well as advancements and graduations and level ups on your personal roads and all of your personal ventures and solo projects and solo journeys. This is also going to come with some big transition points over the course of this next three months. This is again all about heartbreaking graduations. And we've all been through that every once in a while, you know, where it's kind of like this great thing is happening, but this also means a departure in some way. And so you're going to be having a lot of this go on in your first house, which is again, all about your goals, your wishes, your desires, your personal journey, irrespective of other people. And because it is in your sign, you can also plant a lot of really important seeds to help you attain these desires and bring them forth faster. But just remember, this might also require some switching out and some letting go at the same time. On the 10th through the 12th, we've also got Mars conjunct Saturn in Pisces in your 12th house of the past, private matters, hidden opportunities, secrets, shortcuts, and old business that could still affect the present. And with this combination, we see full stops, shutdowns, and even conflicts going on. This can be a tough transit for everybody to go through because Mars conjunct Saturn does bring a lot of closes and a lot of closure, the end of the line kind of uh, feeling to something that has maybe followed you from the past or something that has exerted an influence over you from the past or something going on in your inner world. This can be very good because it is helping to end something that could be negative or end something that is costing you. However, conflicts may occur due to resistance from others as well as we go through this period. And you yourself may even resist because it may not be clear what is good and what is bad for you until we get closer to the 12th, 13th of this month. So that is what we've got for the astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what is going on with the tarot and the traffic. Okay, Aries, time to see what's going on with your weekly tarot and the traffic. So let's charge these cards up. And you'll notice I've actually written on them. I'm actually preparing to gift these cards to somebody else. So I wrote a bunch of little cues and notes for them. Uh, but let's charge up these cards and give them uh, one last spin on this channel before they get gifted out and see what's up in store for you. One sec. Okay. So the spiritual theme or the what's going on with the week, what you need to know what the week's all about, as well as money and work and practical affairs, community, news, messages from others, contacts, friends and family, 
challenges and love and romance. Okay. So this week is all about the Seven of Wands upright. And so the Seven of Wands is actually all about you getting a chance to get on top of a lot of maybe seemingly overwhelming or just overly demanding issues, tasks, commitments, decisions, and things like that. The Seven of Wands is about getting your life or something important to you back on track by getting above or rising above a lot of things that seem to be keeping you stuck, keeping you blocked. It's about overcoming obstacles. And with the Seven of Wands, you want to keep that in mind. You know, with what's happening this week, you're going to be getting a chance to kind of break out of a lot of things that have maybe been holding you down, whether you knew they were or were not working against you, that is going to be getting revealed. But with the Seven of Wands, you're starting to get a lot of advantages here, and that is where you are going to probably be rising above a lot of turmoil that could be getting stirred up this week, you know, whether it's, you know, just in reaction to the eclipse or other things you've got going on, it doesn't matter. For your work life, and money and practical affairs. You've got the Ace of Swords reversed. And the Ace of Swords reversed is all about misapplied power, misapplied information. This week we could be catching some kind of mistake or error that was made in a project or a conversation, something going on with other people, or something happening in our own financial or professional dealings. Or we may come into a situation where we realize something that we were about to do or a direction that we were heading in is not taking us where we want to go. With the Ace of Swords reversed, the good news is, is that we have a chance to make a change of course, you know, do a cancel, do a, do a release, you know, we get to check our methods. We have to also be ready sometimes, though, to speak up, because this is a card that does indicate a need for some reversing and course correction, but when we do, everything is going to turn out way better for us than if we just kind of stayed going the way we were. For your community, friends, relatives, contacts, you've got the Two of Cups reversed. And the Two of Cups reversed is indicating there may be something going on where you and a friend or you and a relative could be getting into a bit of a conflict with one another, or you could be hearing about some kind of conflict or issue going on between friends or in um, a couple that you know or in another household. And with the Two of Cups reversed, this is going to have some kind of effect on you and your space. Now, this could be something where you are getting ready to help out in that situation or because of what is going on in that other space with that other person or, or that corner of your world. It may also put another, I, I guess you could say another road or another lane on your road. Uh, there, there may be something that comes up here that does change certain plans this week. Sometimes these things, even though they're negative, you know, in the way they come about, they can be positive, or it could just be something that you need to be ready to answer or face when it comes to uh, these folks. When it comes to your challenge this week, you've got the Ten of Swords upright. This is all about harsh transitions. This is about endings, closures. Um, things kind of just coming to a stop. And the Ten of Swords is always, uh, it's considered a harsh, abrupt end to a situation that's already bad. You know, something is ending before it can get worse. It can't be worked on, it can't be worked out. It's something that does need to just be stopped for your own good. Now, this could be something that is happening outside of you, and you might feel bad about it. You might not like the fact that that's what's going on. Or for some of you, weirdly enough, this could be a call to action. Some of you may need to be ready to quit something, to be the one who brings about and instigates the Ten of Swords experience, right? You might be the one who has to make the call for the ending or the transition. Either way, that is something that's going to come up this week. And finally, for love and romance and partnerships, you've got the Hangman reversed. And so this is a week where a lot of maybe up in the air decisions, things that were not necessarily clear as far as a relationship plan 
or maybe where you and a partner stood or you and a partner intended stood, if it's somebody that you're not official with, are going to start being a lot more clear. With the hangman reversed, people are coming off the fence. A lot of things that we have had to put off in terms of decision making are going to be much more clear. If there have been a lot of situations where we don't know whether we're coming or going or a partner is coming or going around, a certain matter deciding our future or even in the case of newer relationships if there's been sort of a nebulousness around that the hangman reverse is also going to be clearing up a lot of matters like that it's representing complete clarity as far as a future direction is concerned and again if you've been waiting on people to make decisions they've been waffling they've been on the fence about something that does you know, involve you that does matter to you in your future as far as partners or even new people are concerned. This is going to be a week where all of that is set clear. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, if you ever want to get a personal reading with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Hey there, Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly astrology and tarot general forecasts for the week of April 8th, 2024. So remember, the astrology is the weather and the tarot is the traffic. And of course, if you ever want to get a personal session with me, you just need to go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. On the 8th, we've got our solar eclipse, new moon conjunct Chiron in Aries, which is occurring in your 12th house of the past, private matters, hidden opportunities, secrets, shortcuts, and old business that affects the present. And over the course of the three months following this eclipse, we're seeing a huge theme of new roads, new beginnings, but even painful graduations going on for you. Now, this is actually a very positive solar eclipse. Painful graduations can be what they are, right? Going through major transition points in life that level us up, right? When we think about getting promoted, when we think about jumping up in the world, but also having to leave the familiar behind. Now for you, this is going on with regards to maybe something that you have had going on in your life in secret or in private, or possibly something that you have been uh, detached from, from the past. Now, this could also be bringing something back to life in your life that could serve you very nicely, take very good care of you, and bring a lot of wonderful new commitments and new beginnings into your world that way, or reconnect you with an aspect of yourself or maybe a passion, desire, or goal that you had lost touch with. But it will also come with a difficult graduation from what you have been carrying on in the present as well. On the 10th, we, and going on through the 12th, we've got Mars conjunct Saturn in Pisces, which is all about full stops, shutdowns, and the potential for conflict. And this is your 11th house of friendships and social support, your community. And this could create some stirs in a friendship group or with a friend. And it's possible with this full stop and shutdown, you may be ending some kind of shared space. You might be taking a break from a friendship or something that you've been working on or pursuing with a friend does come to a full stop due to either resistance or it just not being good for everyone to remain in that situation. And while this can be difficult, this could be something that is actually better for all friends involved in this situation to let this full stop happen. So that is what we've got for the astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with the tarot and the traffic. All right, Taurus, time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly tarot and the traffic. And you'll notice I've actually written on these cards because I'm getting ready to gift them to somebody, and I figured giving them some prompts to help them learn tarot would be a nice thing to do before I do. So let's give them, uh, you know, a final lap here on this channel before I gift them out. Let's charge these up and see what's in store for you.
Okay. All right, so the spiritual theme, what this week is all about. Money and material concerns. News and messages from other people. Challenges. And love and partnerships. Okay, so this week for your theme, you've got the King of Swords upright, which is all about wisdom, intelligence, but also solving problems, getting things organized, getting things set, you know, controlling chaos, as well as catching errors that have happened in the past, as well as also protecting us from maybe mistakes that could be getting made in the future, whether they're made by other people or mistakes we could be thinking about making before we do. With the King of Swords upright, you are going to be getting very well protected by a lot of people stepping forward, a lot of interesting intervening moments, both things that you could see as coincidences or synchronicities, but also helpful people, helpful experts, helpful friends coming in and helping to set things in your world on a lot of better paths. This could be changing the landscape of a lot of things, uh, as well as a lot of plans that you've maybe been going to try and work with or that you've been continuing uh, from uh, the past, but this is going to be a week where a lot of things that have been kind of off or impossible or confusing are going to be set right, which is really cool. For your work life, career, money, finances, living situation, household plans, you've got the Page of Swords reversed. And so this week you want to be careful the Page of Swords reverse is indicating there could be something coming up here around dishonest behavior or possibly uh, rumors, miscalculations, people doing bad math, or uh, maybe making a, doing a lot of speculative thinking, a lot of unnecessary risk-taking, and even fighting. Now, this could be around a professional or financial matter, or we could be uncovering something about uh, a matter in our family or a household plan that should not really be continued or, or go forward as is. With the Page of Swords reversed, it's all about catching it, but also at the same time stopping it in its tracks before it com becomes something worse, you know, kind of removing ourselves from that course. And that we are going to be served very well by that. The King of Swords, of course, is probably going to be a big help in that. For your community, friends, relatives, contacts, you've got the lovers upright. And so we do have a really cool help coming your way, a very important one-on-one -on -one connection or one-on-one -on -one, uh, deal going on. This could be somebody offering to help you partner up or hook you up with something. This can also be a card of matchmaking in terms of good fortune. Somebody maybe finding something that you've been looking for, something that's going to be of assistance to you. They could be linking you up with a really cool gig or anything that would sort of help settle or secure your world. This can also be a time where, yes, when it comes to matchmaking, it's possible uh, for those of you single Tauruses out there that you may be meeting some kind of new love opportunity through a friend, a community, or through a family member, or maybe a situation surrounding that person. For your challenge this week, you've got the fool upright, trudging into new territory, the world opening up for yourself, and even opening up your own mind. With the Fool card, we need to be ready for clean slates and new beginnings, yes, but when the Fool card shows up as a challenge, sometimes what happens is, is we are challenged to explore things that we hadn't considered. If we have been maybe holding on to an idea too tightly, or we've been kind of trying to control too much, 
or we've been trying to manufacture something um, in accordance with maybe a, a personal plan or, or just, you know, to make ourselves feel better about it, open your mind. When it comes to your relationships, love, romance, and partnerships, you've got the Six of Wands reversed. And the Six of Wands reversed is all about reconsiderations, it's all about backpedaling, it's all about a change of heart. And when this card shows up, there could be a plan or an idea that we thought we were going to go forward with that we are realizing is no good for us. And backing out or having this change of heart could be disappointing, right? We might be disappointed by something that we thought was going to happen, or we were disappointed by something not turning out the way we thought. But this is also a really good card because some of you might be relieved. Maybe a partner is backing out of something that you knew that would be bad for them. Or this could be you guys getting a chance to unmake or retrace your steps or back out of something that you wish you didn't start doing. This can also, however, indicate a situation where a change of heart or, uh, you know, maybe a, a retracing of one's steps could also bring back an opportunity for love. Or if it's not bringing something back, it could be reconnecting us with an opportunity that we didn't know was there. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Hey there, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly astrology and tarot general forecasts for the week of April 8th, 2024. And so, of course, that means the astrology is your weather forecast and the tarot is your traffic. And if you ever want to get a personal session with me, you just need to go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. On the 8th, we've got our solar eclipse, new moon conjunct Chiron in Aries, which spells new beginnings, new roads, and painful graduations in your 11th house of friendships, social support, and your community. And over the course of the three months following this solar eclipse, you might be noticing a lot of beautiful new roads and new commitments opening up in your social life with a very important friend or a select group of friends, or maybe something relating to a lofty goal or ambition that you have. But it is also going to precipitate a painful graduation experience, a departure from something that maybe you have been carrying on as far as another area of your life or something that has become familiar to you. Painful graduations are common. Sometimes we go through a beautiful uplifting experience or something is really taking off and serving us well but we have to be ready to take off away from something that we have been maintaining, or it just overrides or overwrites or displaces something that has been a stable or a familiar corner of our world. And as we go through this next three months, we're all going to be going through this somewhere. But remember, the new beginnings, the new roads, the new commitments, and the graduation itself, painful though it may be, is still actually going to be very good. On the 10th and through the 12th, We've got Mars conjunct Saturn in Pisces, which is your 10th house of career, upward mobility, status, station, promotions, and raises. And with Mars conjunct Saturn, we see full stops, shutdowns, and even conflicts that can come up. And it's likely during this time that there could be something coming to an abrupt halt or an abrupt close with regards to a career commitment, a professional relationship, or maybe some kind of career itinerary or agenda that you've been working with. And it is coming in and going to a full stop because when Saturn and Mars come together, they are working to get rid of something that doesn't serve anybody. But it may not be clear why it doesn't serve until we go a little further beyond this point. This could be frustrating and there could even be some fights and conflicts, but Remember, when Mars and Saturn come together, it's the tough love aspect. It's doing something for our own good. So that is what we've got for the astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with the tarot and the traffic. Okay, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising, it's time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your tarot and the traffic. Now you're going to see I've written on these cards because I am going to be gifting them to somebody here very soon, and I wanted to write some prompts on them to help 
that person learn tarot a little bit better. So that's what's going on there. Um, so we're going to take this for them for their final lap in this week's round of readings. But let's charge up these cards and see what's going on with your traffic. One sec. Okay. All right, so the theme, the spiritual theme, what this week is all about, money, work, finances, household plans, friends, relatives, other people, challenges, and love and romance and partnerships. Okay, so for your spiritual theme what this week is all about you've got the page of pentacles reversed which is all about dropping plans dropping commitments um, sometimes this can be a card of quitting it's about releasing things that need to be taken off our plate and this can also be a card that does warn about things that maybe we have been trying to work in that are just not feasible or not good for us that we need to be ready to drop or back away from, you know, re-examine the plan. This is going to be a time where a lot of you are getting a chance to unburden yourself from things that could that you keep trying to make work or that you feel like you need to work uh, that you can't. But this is also going to be a week where it's possible a lot of you um, have certain things get substituted and switched out in your life as well, and that's okay. For your work life home finances again practical affairs you've got the four of cups reversed and this is all about shaking things up this is all about a new road possibly opening up or even a rut or a routine getting disrupted by something good when the four of cups is reversed this is an unplanned advantage an unplanned opportunity an unplanned win this could be a week where you have to sort of adjust if you've you know kind of got a way of going on autopilot or maybe you've become accustomed to the way things have functioned in the past this could be a stressful period but with the four of cups reversed this can also indicate sporadic opportunities maybe um things that come out of the blue that are not normal for your job that are going to help lift you up random opportunities for money random opportunities or um, maybe even surprise wins when it comes to your personal security coming from places that maybe you hadn't looked or maybe people that you hadn't considered working with in a different way whatever is going on here be prepared for things to get shook up for your community, friends, relatives, and other people in your life, you've got the Five of Pentacles reversed. And this is a card of help. This is a card of something coming into your world, either looking for help or possibly helping you. A lot of the times with the Five of Pentacles reversed, we see a void getting filled in our lives. Now, this could be something that a friend or a contact, an ally or a relative is doing for you, or this could be something that you are connecting more closely with somebody important in your life in order to fill that void for each of you. 
This could also be going the other way. You know, you could be helping somebody else out. With the Five of Pentacles reversed, though, this is going to turn out very nicely for everybody. A lot of the times with the Five of Pentacles reversed, we can kind of see uh, also um, a big fix going on that is going to change the dynamic of that connection and that relationship. So we have evidence of another uh, reversed card, right, that can be better than when it's upright. And I'm always trying to harp on that with people because some people look at a reversed card and then they're like, I see reverse cards and there's so many. And it's like, ugh, I hate modern tarot readers. For your challenge this week, you've got the temperance card upright. This week is going to require you to be ready to integrate things that you've kept separate and start to blend things that you have maybe compartmentalized too much. You are also going to need to make sure that you set proper paces with a lot of things that are coming in. It's going to be tempting to go too slow. It's going to be tempting to go so fast that you, because you're trying to just rip a bandage off and get it over with. Work with people, cooperate. The Temperance card is a card of healing, it is a card of mending, and it is a card of improvements, steady and secure. But when it shows up as a challenge, sometimes uh, we might be tempted to overdo or we might even put off necessary opportunities for improvements in our lives because we might not want to change our routine and we got to be ready to do that. For your relationships, love, romance, and partnerships, we've got the Ten of Pentacles upright. And the Ten of Pentacles is all about new, secure, long-term happiness, right? It's about longevity, it's about prosperity, but also bringing things closer and getting things more set and stable, stronger foundations. When we have the Ten of Pentacles in love and romance, uh, for a lot of you, this could be you getting a chance to be more close or get closer to new love or maybe a partner potential uh, because you're probably going to be spending a lot more time together building the foundation, kind of building the castle around yourselves. This could be something that is happening because the logistics of the relationship are changing in a way that's favorable to you. Or this could be just material circumstances are more favorable in general. For those of you who are coupled or are married, this is indicating a lucky break in terms of uh, possibly the conclusion of a long journey financially or professionally for you or your partner. And what is happening here is that we are getting a chance to turn the rewards, the spoils of that journey into something more prosperous as well. So that is what I've got for your Tarot Gemini. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Hey there, Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly astrology and tarot general forecasts for the week starting April 8th, 2024. So we've got astrology for the weather and then tarot for the traffic. And of course, if you ever want to get a personal session with me, you just need to go on ahead to my website, integrativemysticism.com. On the 8th, we have our solar eclipse, new moon, conjunct Chiron in Aries, your 10th house of career, upward mobility, status, station, promotions, and raises. And this is all about new roads, new beginnings, new commitments, but also at the same time, because of Chiron being there, painful graduations. And over the course of the three months following this solar eclipse on the 8th, you're going to find that your career direction is going to bolder and brighter spaces. You might even be finding opportunities to score higher positions, raises, or even better jobs. However, painful graduations can indicate that this could also upset the balance or maybe even uh, upset a life direction that you have been maintaining up until this point. And so this can be a lot of good that can be very uncomfortable as we go through this next three months. But just remember, new roads, new beginnings, new wealth, and new commitments are a part of it. When it comes to the 10th through the 12th, we've got Mars conjunct Saturn in Pisces, your ninth house of expansion, growth, big moves, big travel, long distance connections, as well as government and legal matters, and anything relating to your spiritual path and practice. 
And this is all about full stops, shutdowns, and potentially even conflicts. And when we have Mars conjunct Saturn, what we usually see is a complete close of something that has been uh, a regular part of our world or something that has been going on in one of these areas in our life. And it is forcing us to either take another way or aim for a different destination with whatever that plan is. Now, this can also precipitate conflicts, especially in situations where you may have an expanded network, some big contracts, or even uh, plans involving a lot of other people. But this full stop conflict and shutdown is also going to reveal where something does need to end or change for everybody's own good. It is a tough love transit, and we might not necessarily see where the love is until after the 12th, but it will be something that you want to navigate carefully, because again, conflicts with other people can be likely at this time. So that is what we've got for the astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with the tarot and the traffic. All right, Cancer, time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly tarot and the traffic. And you are going to notice that I have written on these cards because I'm actually going to be gifting them to somebody else here very soon. And I thought I would write some prompts on them to help them learn how to read tarot in a more practical and down-to-earth way. And so that's what that's for. So we're just taking these cards through for their uh, final lap for this round of readings, and uh, then I'll be gifting them off. So... Let's charge these up and see what's in store for your week. So spiritual themes, what this week's all about, essentially, money and practical affairs, home and family, work, community, friends, relatives, and other people, challenges, and love and romance. Okay. So this week, the big theme is the Five of Pentacles upright. And so this is going to be a week where we're going to need to face where some of our roads or some of the plans that we've made need to change. The Five of Pentacles is all about facing voids, lack, loss, um, expenses, things that maybe we tolerate or even confront things that we have spent a lot of time living without or going without and addressing them head on. With the Five of Pentacles, it's important to remember that there are also going to be opportunities that come in that will take care of us, that will help us, but we need to make sure that we are not tunnel visioned with certain challenges or certain maybe um, agendas that we have for this week or even beyond. Sometimes the Five of Pentacles can be warning us about persevering in a bad place just to persevere and pay close attention to what options are going to be coming to you to change your course. When it comes to your material circumstances, work, job, finances, practical affairs, you've got the Nine of Wands reversed. And so there's going to be some kind of new opening going on here. A, a door is opening up or something is getting unlocked. With the Nine of Wands reversed, you might be hearing about an opportunity that you could take on or claim for yourself 
that maybe you didn't see or something that was barricaded by a wall or paperwork. This could be something uh, like a job opening. This could be an opportunity for you to pursue quick money or maybe something is coming on the table or coming on the market or coming into your life that um, maybe has been there but hiding in plain sight that's going to be really good for you. For your community, friends, relatives, and other people, you've got the lovers reversed. And there might be a detaching going on this week as far as a bad deal, a bad arrangement, a bad commitment, or a bad contract. Now, this could be between you and somebody that you know. This could be something that you've held on to for a while. Or this could be something that you hear about going on between other people, other family members, another couple in your life, or something like that. The Lover's Card Reverse is indicating it is the end of of an arrangement that is already bad. It's ostensibly not working out for anyone in the situation. But there could be some you know, some sorting that needs to happen or possibly a conflict that comes up around this, but that detachment is indicating all parties involved are also being set free from those problems. For your challenge this week, you've got the Six of Swords reversed. And the Six of Swords reversed is all about turnarounds, returns, changing courses, and possibly slowing your roll a little bit. This could be something that you are being challenged to do. We've seen a lot of cards so far talking about reevaluating our plans, reevaluating courses, maybe looking at other things. Or this could indicate that there could be a challenge in getting something to move forward the way that we are trying to make it move forward. Pay attention to where we might need to look at alternative options to get to certain places we want to go, and be prepared. There could also be some returns from the past that you might not want to look at, but you do need to look at, because those could also be very helpful to see in this situation. For your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you've got the Five of Cups reversed. And this is an example of another good reversed card, kind of like that Nine of Wands reverse, right? We see something that could actually be quite nice to us. The Five of Cups reverse is all about recovering, replacing, and also getting things um, back in our lives, or if not back in our lives, getting things that we lost um, and have been going without replaced as well, you know, replaced by new things. Now, for the Five of Cups reverse, this could indicate you and a partner are going to be going through a bit of a recovery period, maybe lost money, lost opportunities, or things that we've been missing out on are getting replaced by things that are equal or better. And for those of you who are single or are available to new people, this could also indicate some kind of reconnect or the return of an opportunity or an equal or better replacement to something lost in the past as well. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And if you ever want to get a personal reading with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Hey there, Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly astrology and tarot general forecasts for the week starting April 8th, 2024. So we're looking at astrology for the weather and then tarot for the traffic. And of course, if you ever want to get a personal session with me, you can go on ahead to my website, integrativemysticism.com. On April 8th, we've got our solar eclipse New Moon conjunct Chiron in Aries, which is your ninth house of expansion, big moves, big travel, growth, long distance connections, as well as official dealings, government, legal matters, education matters, and your spiritual path and practice. And a solar eclipse new moon is all about new beginnings and new roads and new commitments, and it's going to be lighting up this part of your life, really getting you out of your bubble over the course of this next three months. You might notice things are starting to grow and blow up around you in a very nice way. This can be one of those transits that puts a whole new name for ourselves or our work or our reputation or our business on the map, and a lot of you are going to find that this is going to open up opportunities for travel later in the year 
year, big moves later in the year, and big jumps in your status and station in general. However, painful graduations can also indicate while good things are going on for you and all around you, you may have to release or let something get displaced or come out of a space that you've become very attached or accustomed to. Now, this could be a, a literal thing or this could be something more figurative. With painful graduations, that can be normal, right? It's sort of, all right, we are all going on our own way. And you might be finding that as you were going on your way up, you might be feeling a bit heartbroken about it every once in a while. But this is putting a new life on the table for you as well. So pay attention to what is getting started and seeded during this period and what is really going to be ramping up as we go over this next three months. On the 10th through the 12th, we've got Mars conjunct Saturn in Pisces, your eighth house of shared resources, shared responsibilities, bonus income, self-employment monies, as well as intimacy, sexuality, and anything that you might share with a partner, whether it's a business partner or a romantic partner. And this is about full stops, conflicts, and shutdowns. And what happens with a Mars conjunct Saturn in Pisces is that something might be forced to come to a close here. Now, this could be the end of an account or an arrangement that has been detrimental. This could be a full stop on a road that maybe has been keeping us in a, in a bad place with regards to debts or, or expenditure challenges. Or this could creating full stops, conflicts, and shutdowns in an exchange or a, a situation where maybe we are sharing a certain space or a corner of our more personal or private world that is not being handled or uh, taken care of properly. Conflicts can come up during this period. A lot of resistance can come to this kind of thing, especially when it comes to situations where people might not appreciate change or they don't want, um, they, they see where the problems are, but they don't necessarily want to do anything about it. And you may find that this is a tough love transit for everybody. But as we go through on into the rest of April, it will be clear where this full stop and these shutdowns are actually for everybody's own good, in spite of what conflicts may come up. So that is what we've got for your astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with your tarot and the traffic. Okay, Leo, time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly tarot and the traffic. And you are going to notice that I've written on these cards um, because I'm actually getting ready to gift them to somebody else. And so I thought it'd be nice if they had some prompts written on them. So we're just taking these cards on their final lap through this round of readings, and then I'll be sending them off. But just figured maybe you'd want to know. Maybe you want to try that with some cards of your own. So I'm going to charge these up and see what's going on when it comes to your week. Right. Spiritual themes, what this week is all about, money and material concerns, work and job, 
news from other people, friends and relatives, challenges, and love. Okay, so this week is all about the Ten of Cups upright, which is all about happily ever after moments and happily ever after conclusions to long stories. This is the card that is one of the best cards in the tarot deck. It's all about happiness, contentment, peace, and achievement, attainment. And so a lot of quests, a lot of roads that you've been on are going to be wrapping up here. But with the Ten of Cups, this is not just your happiness. This is also going to be a happiness you share with others. You're also going to find with the Ten of Cups upright, a lot of this week could be helping you to settle a lot of complicated issues or complicated challenges or struggles you've been in in much less complicated ways. And so you just want to you know relax, let yourself have an easy week. For your work life, money, job, finances, and even home and practical affairs, you've got the Ace of Pentacles upright, which is all about new, secure gifts that keep on giving. This is about a new beginning where a lot of you are going to be able to time your watch to a lot of very happy returns, both financially and professionally. Some of you may find that this is a week where, yes, if you've been house hunting or you've been looking for an opportunity to make an important change with your living arrangements, you're going to find the perfect thing that's going to just kind of answer um, what is most crucial and also bring a sense of peace and a con- an accomplishment there as well. With the Ace of Pentacles, pay attention to what is coming forward here because it is going to require a commitment, but it's a worthy commitment for sure. For your friendships, contacts, family members, other people, you've got the Seven of Swords reversed. And so this is going to be a week where there could be a reveal going on, a secret getting unburdened, something going on behind the scenes, present or past, that is going to be opening up an opportunity for you, but it's going to come through some kind of confession. Now, this could be somebody confessing something that they've been keeping to themselves or revealing something they've been hiding and keeping to themselves. Or this could be somebody helping you out by giving you something or giving you something back that maybe once was kept from you or was uh, misplaced in some way. However, sometimes the Seven of Swords reverse, you got to be ready. People might be confessing things that don't always make us feel good. For your challenge this week, you've got the Justice card upright. Remember, commitment, commitment, commitment. This is a week where you're going to need to understand that a lot of things that are coming up, while good, absolutely, are playing for keeps. You do not want to be fickle in the way that you go about your work, you go about making your decisions, and the Justice card upright is also indicating a need for a platform of honesty, a platform of fairness. You do not want to be putting yourself in a position where you maybe start a lot of these good things on unbalanced or slanty foundations at all. The Justice card upright can also indicate a need for you to be ready to to hear truths as well as speak truths that maybe you have felt better left unspoken or heard in the past. For your relationships and love, romance and partnerships, you've got the Seven of Cups reversed. And the Seven of Cups reversed is all about decluttering. It's all about getting organized. It's about getting away from confusion, getting away from things that have been very hard to navigate. And if you and a partner or a partner intended have been struggling with what to do, where to go, what's the plan, uh, you know, how do we solve a certain issue or confront something that may be going on outside of us, this is the week where that all starts to get sorted out as well. This can also be a week where a lot of you could be, you know, getting into a place where your relationships are going up in a status, because the Seven of Cups reverse can indicate a change of status, uh, things that have been maybe up in the air for a while, finally become conclusive. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And if you would ever like to get a personal reading with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.
Hey there Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly astrology and tarot general forecasts for the week of April 8th, 2024. So we're doing the astrology for the weather report and tarot for the traffic report. And of course, if you ever want to get a personal session with me, you just need to go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. On the 8th, we have our solar eclipse, new moon conjunct Chiron in Aries. This is your 8th house of shared resources, shared responsibilities, exchanges, bonus income, self-employment earnings, investments, as well as intimacy and sexuality and anything that you may share with a partner, be it a romantic partner or a business partner. And this is all about new roads, new beginnings, and new commitments, but also painful graduations. And over the course of the three-month period uh, following this eclipse, you're going to be noticing that you are starting to transition into living a higher quality of life, especially on the material front. However, this is going to be a period where, yes, painful graduations will occur because as you are going through these new beginnings and going down these new roads, you may be leaving behind a lot of things that have been comfortable or familiar, but also holding you back. Gra painful graduations or heartbreaking graduations, that's not an uncommon thing, right? We are getting a chance to close up a chapter of our lives and everyone is happy for the uplift and the level up and the, the abundance and the happiness that comes with it. But again, the departure from the familiar, the comfortable, whether it's the places or the faces, can be jarring. And so you want to make sure that you allow yourself to proceed however it goes. On the 10th and through the 12th, we've got Mars conjunct Saturn in Pisces, your seventh house of partnerships and closest one-on-one -on -one involvements. So this is the area of the boyfriend, girlfriend, the BFF, the business partner, the husband, wife, the roommate, all the people you have your most involved one-on-one -on -one connections with. And this is a difficult aspect. This is all about full stops, shutdowns, and even potential conflicts that come up over the course of this period. And it's likely a joint venture or something that you have been pursuing with a partner, a best friend, a roommate, or a business ally, or some kind of shared uh, venture is going to come up against a full stop and a shutdown. Now, this is likely something that is actually happening for everybody's own good. It might be closing a road that we've been he heading down as a partnership or as a pair. And conflicts can come up because of it. However, as we go through the back half of April, it will likely become more clear as to why this was, ev this, this was in everyone's best interest, in spite of how disappointing or maybe, again, conflicting that experience could be. So that is what we've got for the astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with the tarot and the traffic. Okay, Virgo, time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly tarot and the traffic. Now you'll notice with these cards, I have written on these cards and that's because I'm getting ready to gift them to somebody so that they can learn tarot a little bit better. I thought I'd write the prompts on them. And so this is kind of the final lap for this deck on this channel. So let's charge it up and see what it has to say to you before it goes bye-bye.
All right. Spiritual themes, what this week is all about. Money and material concerns, news from other people. Around money, anyway, in practical matters. This is the news from other people in terms of friends, relatives, and other people in your life. Challenges and love, romance, and partnerships. Okay. So this week, you've got the chariot reversed for your big spiritual theme. This is a week of a lot of heightened activity that could run the risk of becoming unmanageable. This is going to be a very hectic, very active week for you. With the chariot card reversed, you may also find that a lot of maybe plans or priorities that you have could be actively fighting against each other, competing each other for your time. You're going to feel like you need to be in all kinds of different places at once. You can't really sustain that. Make sure that you don't let anything get out of control. A lot of the times the chariot card reversed, we can see an opportunity to do some selective reduction when it comes to things that we are obligated to. So there is a positive with that. But make sure that you know how to slow down slow your roll where you need to and also with the chariot card reversed see where certain things need to maybe be uh, reset on your calendar what you're available for what you where you need to be there's a lot to be gained it can be a very profitable very uh, positively charged week but there is such thing as too much of a good thing too so we want to just be careful with how we go through for your work life money finances practical affairs you've got the king of cups upright and it looks like things are going to be going very nicely for you here. You may be um, getting taken under somebody's wing or benefiting from some kind of special favor, some kind of gift or kind deed that somebody is going to be doing for you. This could also be somebody going out of their way to make something happen that is going to put you in great favor financially or professionally. Or this could be a person going out of their way to change something about a work, financial, or a living situation that is also going to be harmonizing your world in both a physical and a personal way. For your community, friends, relatives, other people in your life, you've got the Knight of Swords reversed. And there could be some fighting going on this week, some kind of argument, some kind of clash. The Knight of Swords reversed indicates belligerent behavior, hostility, and this could be something where you are noticing a contact of yours is acting out, or they are struggling with somebody who is acting out. The Knight of Swords reversed shows up as a, an irrational person, somebody that could be going too fast or getting way too aggressive or again maybe trying to control something they should have no control of and it's creating more chaos in either your situation with them or creating chaos for somebody that you care for and so we may have to get in there you know with some animal tranquilizer or whatever and and lock this thing down for your challenge this week you've got the seven of pentacles reversed scrapping dropping, quitting, repurposing. That's what this card is all about. There could be some things that you are trying to cling to as far as ideas, as far as intentions, as far as plans or even obligations are concerned that you need to dust your hands of. The Seven of Pentacles reverse can talk about a need to cut ourselves loose or even know when something not happening or going away is actually a blessing. This could be something that we're just kind of holding out for our return on. This could be, you know, one of those sunk cost fallacy moments where we might think, oh, I've spent so much time here. Oh, I invested so much in here. Oh, I've, I've put so much in, but we need to get rid of it before it takes any more. For your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you've got the death card reversed. And the death card reversed is indicating stuckness. It's all about holding on to the past or a, a fear of moving forward or a lack of interest in, in trying something new or letting a page turn. There could be some things going on in either your life or a partner's life that is creating problems where a relationship situation could be getting stuck. 
you know, again, too much of the past influencing the present, too many internal issues kind of running the external. This could also show up where possibly you and a partner or a partner intended have to confront a situation where an old issue or an old problem or a new opportunity is getting blocked by this kind of thing. And so that, that might require some important talks, that might require some decisive action, but it will be necessary. So that is what I've got for you Virgo people. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Hey there, Libra, sun, moon, and rising. It's time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly astrological and tarot forecasts for the week of April 8th, 2024. So we're doing astrology for the general weather and then tarot for the general traffic. And of course, if you ever want to get a personal reading with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. So this week on the 8th, we've got a solar eclipse, new moon conjunct Chiron in Aries your seventh house of your closest one-on-one -on -one involvements. So this is about partnerships, romantic partnerships, business partnerships, best friends, roommates, any kind of situation where you have a very involved one-on-one -on -one connection that could have multifacets to it. And this solar eclipse is all about new moons bringing new beginnings exponentially amplified, right? New roads, new commitments, but also because of Chiron and his involvement there, we also have painful graduations at the same time. And over the course of the following three months, this part of your life is going to have at least one close one-on-one -on -one connection go through this big transformation, right? A very important graduation leading to new commitments, maybe even opportunities to go down a new road towards a new joint destination, or maybe change directions as far as a life direction, uh, a partnership or a close involvement has been going down. However, it can be tough because painful graduations can involve leaving behind arrangements or directions or commitments or plans as we have laid them. It can indicate a transition away from a lifestyle or maybe a way of just carrying on everything in general. But whatever it is, it is a graduation nonetheless. And so be prepared for that, you know, because as we go through this next three months, it's going to be coming on strong. On the 10th, 11th and 12th, we have Mars conjunct Saturn in Pisces, your sixth house of work, reputation, schedule, lifestyle, the teams that you're on, the teams that you serve with, as well as what you get back for the services you give to the world. <clears throat> and this is all about full stops, shutdowns, and even conflicts taking place in this area of your life. And there could be something coming up in a workspace, a group space, a team space, or a, a professional space where a certain road has to come to a full stop in order to address an issue that has not been addressed properly. This could also happen in a lifestyle matter as well. This could be bringing an end to something that serves nobody or has been a constant source of stress, anxiety, or loss. But there could also be conflicts coming up around this situation because this is a tough love kind of aspect. And not everybody is going to see why it was necessary until probably we get to the second half of April. So that is what we've got for your astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with the tarot and the traffic. Okay, Libras, it's time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly tarot and the traffic. And you'll notice in this one, um, I've actually written on these cards because I'm about to gift them to somebody else and I wanted to write some prompts on them before they received them. So this week's tarot is kind of like the last lap on this channel for these cards. And so let's see what they uh, have to say before they head off. One sec, I'm just going to charge them up.
Okay. Okay, so we've got spiritual themes, what this week is all about, money and material concerns, messages and news from other people, challenges, and love and romance. Okay, so for your big spiritual theme or your big focus, you've got the King of Wands upright. So this week is all about promotion. It's all about you getting to live at large. The King of Wands is all about receiving hookups. It can be help from other people, absolutely. But this is also about raising your stature, raising your visibility, and raising your activity and prominence in your world and community. You might be having to be ready to be more active and engaged in things that you normally have been passive with. You might need to be ready to receive attention that you don't normally receive in quantity. And pay close attention as well to where you are going to be getting hookups from people that have those hookups for you. For your material concerns, work, job, finances, practical affairs, you've got the death card upright. And so the death card is all about turning a page. There is a transition going on, and this is likely something that is going to probably be something you've seen coming. A lot of the times with the death card, it's not a surprise. It's not something catching us out of the blue unless we're not paying attention. The death card is, however, indicating a normal is going away. Now, this could be a great thing. If you've been looking for a new job, for instance, this is the end of the period of a job search. If you've been house hunting, it's the end of the house hunting experience. The death card could also indicate a change in your financial normal away from what has been normal. However, with the death card, there could also be a lot of changes going on in the financial and professional scenery around you as well. This could indicate some of you may be becoming aware of a transition outside of yourself, but this is likely something that is going to, again, turn a page and to open up a new chapter for you in your work and financial life. For your community, friends, relatives, and other people around you, you've got the Hermit upright. And this week, you might not be spending a whole lot of time with the usual people. It's possible, but usually with the Hermit, we kind of reduce a little bit of a lot of our personal time to maybe just working with one or two people. The Hermit card is indicating there could also be somebody coming out of the woodwork, somebody coming back into your life, a friend or a contact reconnecting with you that you have been out of touch with for some time. This could be a really good friend, a valuable ally, a guide, a confidant, or maybe even somebody that you just kind of know as one of your rocks. And you're probably going to be spending a lot more time in that situation with them instead. Or this could even be somebody new showing up in your life that could fill that role uh, that you are going to be spending a lot of time with or get a chance to uh, really connect with this week. For your challenge, you've got the Page of Swords reversed. And the Page of Swords reversed is a warning about miscalculations, bad judgments, not seeing things correctly, and being careful about jumping to conclusions, right? You know, kind of getting ahead of things um, because bad math, dishonesty, and falsities often follow this card. And so there might be some things that come up this week that you might feel tempted to react to. You might feel, feel tempted to make fast calls on you need to take your time. Be careful about ru rumors, misinformation, and disinformation around other people as well, because those are also going to be flying. And just again, let's, let's make sure that, that we all 
take some extra time to think before we speak. Because we all know people who, um, they, they got to pop off, uh, you know, before anything's done actually revealing what it, what it is. And this is the card that kind of is very punishing to those kinds of people. So we don't want to be that. When it comes to your relationships and love, romance and partnerships, you've got the Three of Pentacles upright. And the Three of Pentacles is all about teamwork. It's all about collaboration. It's all about productivity and even um, prosperity that is finally starting to show its worth. Now, in a love context, this could be you and a partner or a partner intended finally getting down to some serious work on something that you have not really had a chance to dedicate yourselves to or prioritize. And this is going to help bond and bring you guys closer together, but also, again, bring some joy and even, uh, with any luck, some prosperity into the relationship and into the family as well. For those of you who are single or are available to new people, likely the Three of Pentacles is showing somebody that could be coming into your life that would be up to such a task and you might be connecting over those kinds of things as well or you could be meeting somebody through a group whether it's a personal group a community or a work situation that you or maybe it's just you meet them through somebody that you know in one of these areas so that is what i've got for you all i hope you found this helpful if you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Hey there, Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. It's time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly astrology and tarot general forecasts for the week of April 8th, 2024. So we're doing astrology for the weather and the tarot for the traffic. And of course, if you ever want to get a personal session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. On the 8th, we've got a solar eclipse, new moon, conjunct Chiron in Aries, which is all about new roads, new beginnings, new commitments. But because of Chiron being involved, this is also about painful graduations. And this is taking place in your sixth house of work, reputation, your schedule, your lifestyle, the services you provide to the world, and what you get back for those services. And over the course of the three months uh, following this eclipse, you're going to be starting a major new road and something that is going to be lifting you up when it comes to your work life, your reputation, your earning power, your standing in the world. However, painful graduations can indicate also a transition away from things that are comfortable or familiar or secure feeling. Painful graduations happen when we go through these big jumps in life, but maybe we are leaving certain uh, environments or certain people or certain routines or aspects of our comfort zone behind. But we must power through nonetheless because this new road, new commitment, new beginning is actually going to take very good care of you. On the 10th, 11th, and 12th, we've got Mars conjunct Saturn in Pisces, which is your fifth house of romance, creativity, recreation, personal enterprises, and your relationships with your kids. And this is about full stops, shutdowns, and potential conflicts. And there could be something coming up in one of these areas of your life where a certain arrangement or perhaps maybe a, a, a way of relating to one of our kids, a creative collaborator or a partner does come to a full stop or shut down. This could also indicate a change in the road or the future for an important relationship here away from, uh, I guess you could say, what has been normal that has maybe been the cause of a lot of strain or a lot of suffering in your life. There could also be some news coming up around a full stop, shutdown, or conflict in the life of a partner, a child, or maybe somebody you are working with creatively or professionally. Whatever the situation is, it's really important to keep in mind that this is still a tough love aspect. And while not everyone in that moment may necessarily see why it was necessary for this to happen, it will be clear as we go into the back half of April. 
So that is what we've got for the astrology and the weather. Let's head on over and see what's going on with the tarot and the traffic. All right, Scorpio, time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly tarot and the traffic. And you might notice some writing on these cards now, and that is because I'm actually getting ready to gift them to somebody. And I thought I would write some prompts on them to help them learn the tarot. And so that's what I did. So this is kind of the final lap for this deck on this channel. So uh, let's see what they have to say to you about this coming week before we head off. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. Alrighty, so we've got, of course, the spiritual theme, what the week is all about, money and material concerns, news from other people, friends, relatives, contacts, challenges, and love. Okay, so when it comes to your spiritual themes for the week, you've got the death card reversed. And so a lot of this week is going to be about, well, getting things to move, getting things to finally transition that have been stuck or stalled or held up, um, you know, in the past. This is all about delayed change or forestalled developments needing to get addressed because a lot of the times with the death card reversed, it's basically saying old business or attachment to old business is holding up future happiness. Um, and this could be something that you're dealing with in a lot of different corners of your world. You know, with the death card reversed, we're kind of reminded that there's only so much reality we can actually maintain at one time. And so there could be a lot of cleanups going on for you this week. But the good news is with the death card reversed is that a lot of things that even you feel like you wish you could uh, get rid of or things you wish you could get on the move, they're also going to get forced to get on the move. So you're not necessarily going to be alone in this. Progress is going to happen, but it may force us to also, you know, confront some old things or finally have some, you know, clean up moments uh, in, in all kinds of different corners of our world. For your material concerns, work, job, finances, all of that, you've got the Two of Pentacles reversed. And so the Two of Pentacles reversed is all about a clearing. This is all about dropping things that have been taking up space, creating chaos or hecticness in our lives. This can also be a card of new secure commitments, things becoming more balanced, things becoming easier to manage. And also it could be seen as a card of selective reduction and downsizing. And a lot of you are going to be enjoying this this week because this is about helping to reorder your world to be a better functioning one. This could be making things easier at work or helping you to get a new job commitment or a new role or, or project commitment that really works for you. This could be getting some financial obligations or drains off your back, as well as also locking in things that have been maybe flimsy or uncertain. For your community, friends, relatives, and other people, you've got the Five of Pentacles reversed. This is another good reversed card. It's always indicative of help, 
voids getting filled, and it could be that something in your life is getting patched up or fixed or maybe just remediated because of the help of a friend. Or it could be that you and an ally are coming together, joining forces, and both of you are being lifted up because of it. With the Five of Pentacles reversed, it's usually about something that we have maybe been going without for a while, or something that we have been suffering or struggling without any kind of help or resources. But it does look like everybody in the situation, whether they're helping you, you're helping them, you're helping each other, and that's always a good thing to see. For your challenge this week, you've got the Ace of Wands reversed. Inertia. Being stuck. Period. Standing still, you know, or maybe even dealing with situations where there could be improvements, there could be movement forward, but there's not really a lot of energy going to the right places. You know, it's almost, this is the card that can kind of warn against situations where it's all talk, no action, all processing, no productivity, all introspection, no outside effort. And there could be things that you have to kind of get the lead out with when it comes to all kinds of different priorities you have. The Ace of Wands reverse can also indicate, um, you know, a loss of momentum in a certain situation might need to be confronted in a fresh way, or you may need to be ready to challenge yourself and others to pick up the pace with things you've been maybe a bit too tender, a bit too slow, or um, a bit too tentative with. For your relationships and love, romance and partnerships, you've got the Seven of Wands upright, which is all about getting on top of problems, getting an advantage, getting a chance to finally confront or clear or eliminate obstacles with ease. And a lot of you are going to notice that this could have to do with a joint concern or a joint priority, something you and a partner have been facing together. Or you could also find that it's possible a partner is finally conquering something or staving off or fending off or finally pushing away something that they have been struggling with that has also vicariously been affecting everybody. This could also show up with the Seven of Wands for a lot of you who are maybe thinking about uh, pushing something forward with a partner or maybe even um, getting something to go away from you and your partner uh, as far as an idea, an influence, or something that needs to just kind of be tamped down. This is going to be a good week for that. For those of you who are single or available to new people, you may find that you've got your pick. Sometimes, you know, you could actually be uh, beating off suitors with a stick. You might have to be ready to, you know, look at your options, pay attention to what your options are, and you might find that there could be somebody going out of their way to try and get your attention. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Hey there, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly astrology and tarot general forecasts for the week starting April 8th, 2024. So we're looking at the astrology for your weather forecast and of course the tarot for the traffic. And if you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website, integrativemysticism.com. On the 8th, we've got a solar eclipse, new moon, conjunct Chiron in Aries, your fifth house of romance, creativity, recreation, personal enterprises, and your relationships with your kids. And this is beginning a new beginning. This is all about new roads, new beginnings, new commitments taking place in this area of your life. However, this is also going to be a time of some painful graduations as well. Over the course of the three-month window period following the 8th, you may be noticing that your personal life, your creative life, or your life as a parent is starting to transform into something bigger, brighter, more beautiful, and more fulfilling for all involved. 
However, painful graduations can show up where we also need to be ready to leave things that we've become attached to as part of our way of carrying on with a partner or maybe a business strategy or a parenting style or a parenting era, right? An era of relating to one of our kids or, or even an era of the way we carry on with a partner, leaving it in the past. Painful graduations happen a lot, right? We're all happy that we're all moving up in the world. We're all happy that this is something that is kind of granting a lot of personal wishes, but it is going to eliminate something that is more familiar and maybe even something that makes you feel more secure as it happens. And again, this is going to be in play for about three months uh, and it's going to be sinking in every step of the way. On the 10th, 11th, and 12th, we've got Mars conjunct Saturn in Pisces, which is your fourth house of home, family, living situation, and home economy, and even your family history and your roots. And this is all about full stops, shutdowns, and even conflicts. And there is likely going to be something coming up here that does shut down or bring to a full stop some kind of family story, family issue, or something that we've got going on with our living arrangements or the way we are navigating or running our business in our home environment. This can bring up conflicts because it may not necessarily seem all that clear as to what is going on and why. But it's important to remember that this is a tough love transit. And whatever is getting shut down or getting pushed to a full stop is something that um, you could always, you could almost look at as the price was too high or it was already costing us too much or it was all, it was, it was creating more harm than good. And that will be more apparent as we go through the back half of April. So that is what we've got for your astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with the tarot and the traffic. Okay, Sagittarius, time to see what is going on with your tarot and the traffic. And you're going to notice I actually wrote on these cards because I'm about to gift them to somebody else. And I thought maybe writing some prompts on them would help them, you know, learn tarot. And so that's what's going to happen. This is this deck's uh, final lap on this channel. Then we're going to be working with something else, of course. So let's see what they have to say to you before they take off. One sec. Okay. All right, so spiritual themes, what the week's all about, money, work, practical affairs, news from other people, challenges, and love, romance, and partnerships. Okay, so this week, your big spiritual theme is the Justice card, Upright. So. We've got a whole lot of really good energy coming in to restore balance, restore stability, but also kind of bring in a lot of new commitments into your world all at the same time. The Justice card is a card that sets us back on track or sets a lot of things in our world on better tracks, especially if we've been maybe going down the wrong roads or we have been getting blocked or maybe impeded in some way by other issues, attachments, priorities, or maybe even things that have kind of thrown us off our course in the past. The Justice card is one that's kind of like, nope, we are getting everything back to where it belongs. 
In fact, that is also something that you may be noticing when it comes to all kinds of different connections and priorities you have, whether it's money, material things, friends, or maybe even ideals or goals. You know, if you've been feeling like, okay, a lot of things are just not where they need to be, or things are, you know, I've got a lot of stuff on my plate that doesn't belong to me, or a lot of stuff that should be mine is over there, the Justice card upright is basically doing a bit of a rearrange to kind of start putting things back where they belong. For your material concerns, news about the job, or maybe your finances, practical affairs, home and family life, you've got the Four of Cups upright. And the Four of Cups, if we're not careful, can warn us about things slowing down, things becoming a bit stuck, boring, um, or we where we may have a, a certain routine or a certain modus operandi that could just be slowing us down or holding up the works. Now, the Four of Cups does come with a positive message as well. If we kind of go about this week like any other, if we just kind of stay with our usual approach to things, no, nothing is going to change. We have to shake things up. And for people who pay attention to maybe things that could shake things up for you, you know, maybe you might notice some blessings in disguise showing up, you are going to have a really good week. But the Four of Cups is saying be careful about getting stuck in your box or stuck in a rut. Um, otherwise, we might not have a whole lot of news or a whole lot of changes going on here at all this week. It's time to inquire. It's time to get out of your comfort zone. You might find that certain things are coming to you that could be good opportunities, but you might mistake them because you might judge things based on appearances and dump them out. Be careful about that. You know, or you might be finding out about something that you've maybe not been taking very seriously that could be good for you that you should take more seriously. For your community, friends, relatives, other people in your life, you've got the Two of Cups upright, and it looks like a really good alliance is coming together here. The Two of Cups is all about partnerships and unions and commitments. This could be something going on between you and a contact of yours. This could be a business partnership. This could be taking on maybe a project together, or this just could be you and a friend, you know, bonding, getting tighter, getting closer with regards to your respective stories and journeys. You could also be hearing about a couple coming together in your life or possibly some other kind of union or commitment getting formed that is going to be a big asset to you. For your challenge this week, you've got the High Priestess upright. And the High Priestess is actually a really good card. It's all about guidance, helpful people, insight, into you know, good interventions. And sometimes with the High Priestess is a challenge. We have to allow people or allow help to work in our life. Sometimes this can show up when I'm reading for clients and they don't want people getting involved where it would be good for them to get involved. They might not necessarily welcome ideas of people that are way too different from what they're used to, or they just simply are not accepting the, the help or the suggestions or interventions that are coming their way. And it can be very easy to get kind of caught up in our routine. We all have our own ways and our own strategies of doing things, but the High Priestess is indicating your challenge this week, Sagittarius, is to deviate a little bit by letting other people help you their way or let other people do good by you their way. For your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you've got the Nine of Swords reversed. And you might find that partners and spouses are getting a bit overwrought this week. The Nine of Swords reversed is all about stress and anxiety, possibly some fear that could be getting the better of them, but you might need to be ready to also help talk them down. I've seen this card show up where people get so agitated and get so stressed out that sometimes in that distress, they start thinking about doing some pretty crazy things, you know, it's like, all right, maybe it's, you know, okay, you hate your job, but maybe you shouldn't quit right now. Okay, you're not happy with that relative or that friend, let's not say anything you're going to regret. 
a lot of the times with the nine of swords reversed, you know, we can see a situation where people are kind of feeling pushed to do some pretty erratic things. And there is a good reason for the stress, but they may be freaking out about something the wrong way or going about solving the problem the wrong way. And so you might need to be ready to help them. And even with new people in your life, you may find that um, that could be something that is brought to you or just something that you realize in a conversation you might be having with them. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Hey there, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly astrology and tarot general forecasts for the week starting April 8th, 2024. So we're looking at the astrology for the weather and then the tarot for the traffic. And of course, if you ever want to get a personal session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. On the 8th, we have a solar eclipse, new moon, conjunct Chiron in Aries, your fourth house of home, family, living situation, home economy, as well as your roots and family history. And this is all about new roads, new beginnings, new commitments, but also some painful graduations, thanks to Chiron being there. And when we have a new moon solar eclipse in the fourth house, this can be a time for a major uplift in the quality of life or the creature comforts or just the overall happiness of your family, especially focusing on the family or the household that you run or your nuclear family. A new road or a new beginning or a new commitment could signify a big break over the course of this coming three months that is getting underway at the start of this moon that could give you a chance to change home environments or maybe come into a way to bring more abundance and fecundity and wealth into your home. This could also indicate a transformation to a family structure or even the expansion of a family structure. But painful graduations will also be happening because that can happen too, right? Right? It can be painful sometimes while you're being lifted up in the world, knowing that you are leaving an era of your life behind. You are leaving familiar comfort zones behind, especially ones that keep you kind of stuck in yesteryear, you know, keep you out of sync with the now. And there could be some difficulties that come up over the course of this three month window period with that. But this is still a great solar eclipse for everybody. On the 10th, 11th, and 12th, we will have Mars conjunct Saturn in Pisces, which is your third house of communications, contracts, collaborations, third parties in your life, helpful third parties in your life, allies, and your network. And when we have Mars conjunct Saturn, we see a focus on full stops, shutdowns, and even conflicts that could come up. And a contract, a commitment, a collaboration, or maybe some kind of um, corner of your network or corner of a working community, a professional community, or um, any kind of joint, uh, you know, bind is coming up to have a full stop and a shutdown. This is likely something that has served you no good to be a part of, or this could be the end of something that has been keeping you bound or restricted or trapped somewhere. However, conflicts can often show up with this because maybe not everyone agrees that it's for the best that this comes to an end. And sometimes tough love aspects like this do not necessarily get handled with a lot of grace and a lot of higher thinking with other people. So you need to be very careful with this kind of stuff. But by the time we get to the back half of April, all will be clear why this was for everyone's own good. So that is what we've got for your astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with the tarot and the traffic. All right, Capricorn, time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly tarot and the traffic. And you're going to be noticing, uh, I've actually written on these cards, I'm going to be gifting them away to somebody who is looking to learn some tarot. And so uh, what, I'm, what I've done here is, of course, I've written some prompts on all of them. And so this is kind of this deck's last lap 
around this channel before getting, you know, I'm going to, of course, be bringing in a different deck, but let's see what they have to say to you before uh, we send them off. Okay. Spiritual theme, what this week's all about, money, material concerns, news and messages from other people, challenges, and love. Okay, so this week your big spiritual theme is the Empress upright. So this is a very, very good week for you because the Empress is all about abundance, security, nourishment, and care that's transforming your world in, in, in a fashion. In fact, a lot of the times with the Empress card upright, we see a lot of environmental and a lot of atmospheric changes going on in many different corners of your world, both uh, in your home life, but also in the environments and spaces where you work, your social life, just kind of all over. This is a world changer, world polisher card. With the Empress, you are going to be finding that you are going to be the recipient of a lot of special favors or a lot of benefits that come from a lot of environmental shifts going on. And you may also be finding that this is a week where a lot of gifts are coming your way. Uh, people who seem to have a lot seem to be a lot more generous with you right now. And so be prepared. There could also be uh, some offers, some propositions, some proposals, or some handoffs you need to be ready to receive. However, just pay close attention. Those will also change your routine, change your rut, and that can always be a good thing to uh, step out of when you're ready. For your work life, finances, job, practical affairs, you've got the King of Cups reversed. And the King of Cups reversed, I feel like there's going to be something going on around somebody that is letting very deeply personal issues create serious problems either at work or maybe in a project, a transaction, or something relating to a financial matter. The King of Cups reversed is one of the manipulator cards, but what I'm seeing here is that they could be trying to manipulate you or trying to manipulate a financial arrangement or something going on that is connected to you to help them you know, kind of get out of a problem they made for themselves, or they could just be being plain dishonest and, and, and all of that. Financially, this can still be a very good week for you, but you need to be careful around people that seem to be getting way too overly involved, way too picky, or people who you are very, that are very clearly trying to manipulate things to go down a certain road that they shouldn't. This is more about issues with other people and where they may be trying to control things or manipulate things that could be harmful to you and yours, whether it's your coworkers or whoever else is around. Um, and with the King of Cups reversed, usually what we have to do is we need to shut them down. For your community, friends, relatives, other people in your life, you've got the Eight of Swords reversed. And the Eight of Swords reverse is all about freedom. 
It's all about release. It's all about getting a chance to have a problem that has been bound to us or something that's been controlling our movements, controlling our availabilities go away. Now, this could be a week where some of you are finding out about uh, something getting purged or expunged, right? Something getting taken off the table. You may be doing some cord cutting yourself, or you may find that a cord or an attachment is getting cut that is going, and that cutting is going to be of a big benefit to you. This could also be good news about somebody that you care about breaking free from a situation that has come between you and them. For your challenge this week, you've got the Ten of Wands reversed, which is all about relief. A lot of the times with the Ten of Wands reversed, we're seeing a need to drop things that have uh, that, that take more to maintain than they will ever give you back. This is the card of getting away from burdens as well, especially things that have become too high maintenance, too time consuming, too demanding, or even displace things that are meaningful in your life. If something that you are tied up with or tied to or have as an obligation is compromising your health, it's pushing away your support system, it's keeping you from moving ahead at work, or it's draining your finances, or just taking over your life, your challenge this week is to identify it and drop it. It's not a good inclusion. And your challenge with the Ten of Wands reverse can sometimes also be, if it's taken off your back for you, know where this is in the long run going to be um, something that you can make some good come out of. For your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you've got the star reversed. And the star card reversed is still a good card, even though it's a reversed card, kind of like that Ten of Wands reversed and the Eight of Swords reversed, right? That happens. Well, with the star card reversed, this is a week where a lot of you are going to be getting a chance to set up some kind of new long-term plan that is about getting you and a partner uh, or a spouse out of a space we've been kind of going in circles in for a while. The star reverse can also indicate good news about something being made possible where it was impossible before, or something that we can now attain be that we did not have the resources or the time or the space to take on is now possible. But because it's reversed, this may be something that is set for further down the road. You know, this might be something we not, might not be able to have in hand or be able to fully enjoy until we get, you know, closer to the end of the year. But we are orienting ourselves in that direction. And similarly, uh, uh, that kind of message could also be there for those of you who are single or available. It's like we're meeting somebody just a bit ahead of schedule. But it is something that if we wanted to, we could work towards that. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And if you ever want a personal reading with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Hey there, Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising. It's time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly astrology and tarot general forecasts for the week of April 8th, 2024. So we're doing the astrology for the weather and then the tarot for the traffic. And of course, if you ever want to get a personal reading with me, you can always go on ahead to my website, integrativemysticism.com. <clears throat> on the 8th, We've got a solar eclipse, new moon, conjunct Chiron in Aries. Your third house of communications, contracts, collaborations, any kind of commitments that you may have or you know, work that you are sharing with third parties as well as allies. And this can also be an area that hooks us up in some way, right? Hookups from other people. And this solar eclipse new moon is all about new roads, new beginnings, and new commitments that are going to come to you through this area of your life. But they will also come with painful graduations at the same time, thanks to Chiron being there.
Now this could be a period where over the course of this following three months, a lot of you are starting to hit it big because of important collaborations, joining forces with people, or possibly uh, third party hookups or matchmaking opportunities or referrals or things really um, kind of getting life on the move for you in that respect. However, painful graduations can happen when we need to be ready to move on up in the world, right? Everything is lifting us out of our normal, but we may have certain emotional attachments or just certain security measures that are attached to the old way of going about our lives or maybe the old routine or familiar patterns. Whatever the challenge is here, Pay close attention to where you are being taken care of and these new roads, new beginnings and new commitments that are coming to you over the course of this next three months are here to serve. On the 10th, 11th and 12th, we've got Mars conjunct Saturn in Pisces, your second house of income, employment, values and valuables. And this is going to bring in full stops, shutdowns and even conflicts. When we have Mars conjunct Saturn in Pisces, there is usually some kind of shutdown or stop getting put to a situation that is costing us and everybody in the situation too much. Now, this could be a work arrangement, an employment agreement, or maybe something relating to your personal finances that is also getting shut down for everybody's own good. But conflicts can come up here as well at the same time because not everybody can see the greater good in tough love aspects like this, so you got to be careful with other people, though it will all become a lot more clear as we go into the back half of April. So that is what we've got for your astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with the tarot and the traffic. Okay, Aquarius, time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly tarot and the traffic. And you'll notice I've actually written on these cards because I'm actually getting ready to gift them to somebody else. And I thought I would write some prompts on them to help them learn the tarot. And so this is uh, this deck's last lap on this channel. We'll be working with something else after this, but uh, let's see what they have to say to you before they go. One sec. Right. Spiritual themes, what this week's all about. Money and material matters. News from other people. Challenges. And love. Okay. So this week, your big spiritual theme of the big focus is the Page of Cups upright. I'm sorry, reversed. The Page of Cups reversed. Here we go. Uh, we've got the Page of Cups reversed. And so this week, there might be a, a lot of themes coming up around unwanted attention, unwanted gifts, unwanted involvements in your life. This is usually the card of encroachment, impositions. Sometimes this can also be a warning to people about giving off the wrong impressions. We are getting incentivized or pressured or even bribed to be or do things that we don't want to be or we don't want to be anymore or things that we don't want to do anymore. And it's important to be clear with people 
about what you're all about and what you're trying to get. Otherwise, there could be a lot of frustrations or potentially conflict that come from this. And if you have been keeping too much of an open door policy, or you have not been maybe direct when it comes to things that you're trying to shut down or things that you're trying to get away from you, you need to be more clear this week. Otherwise, it's just going to keep on coming and we might be dealing with a lot of invasiveness because of that. For your material concerns, practical matters, finances, work, home and family, you've got the Knight of Cups reversed. Now, I want to first say on the financial note, just in terms of money in general, the Knight of Cups reversed is actually good. It does indicate a very strong flow, financially speaking. In fact, a lot of you could be doing well enough to be making some careless mistakes and overspending, so be careful of that when this card shows up. But you may also be finding yourself in a situation where some issues come up around fair weather allies, fair weather friends, or maybe untrustworthy people that are starting to show their true hands in work or financial matters. These could be bosses, colleagues, family members, or associates of any kind. This could also indicate a situation where you may find out that um, somebody's acting out or somebody's bad behavior could be compromising you or somebody that you care about financially or professionally, and it's going to be time to take measures to protect yourselves. For your community, friends, and relatives outside of your home, as well as, of course, any contacts or associations, you've got the Eight of Pentacles upright. And the Eight of Pentacles is all about improvements. It's all about things going through a very strong lift. Uh, you might be finding that somebody is giving you an opportunity to take on more substantial work, more substantial money, or maybe bringing in some kind of tool or resource for you to integrate into your world that's going to help you to improve your own progress or speed up your own progress with things in your life that you would like to rev up. This is also a card where a lot of maybe upgrades and updates are coming in through help. This could be helping you to make more money, or this could be something that is helping you to secure or finalize or improve a project or a pursuit that has been flimsy or maybe not getting a whole lot of attention or is just not uh, strong enough to kind of hold its own. And so you're going to be uh, very blessed by that. For your challenge this week, you've got the Page of Pentacles reversed. Pay attention to where certain things need to be dropped or should not be allowed to go any further. The Page of Pentacles reversed is one of the cards of quitting. And so some of you may be quitting involvements this week, or you may be quitting keeping up a certain act or keeping up a certain face or keeping up a certain commitment that has already proven to not really be working out for you anyway. The Page of Pentacles reversed is also indicating be careful about letting yourself get rushed or hurried into things, especially when it comes to practical matters or commitments, uh, because it is likely some things could be starting off at the wrong pace, and we're going to have to do some corrective work around that. And finally, for your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you've got the King of Pentacles upright. And the King of Pentacles is a beautiful card in love and romance because we are getting a chance to um, step into new long-term harmony with a partner or with a spouse. The uh, King of Pentacles is all about this strong sense of establishment and coming into one's own where all of the pieces are there. It's perfect balance of the four elements, earth, air, fire, and water. This could be become, becoming because of a household change. This could be coming because of a financial change in your life or your partner's life. This is also going to be a time where you and a partner are getting a chance to maybe um, make a detour down a more prosperous and more successful road together. And for those of you who are single or are available to new people, you might be meeting somebody this week that embodies all of these qualities as well. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And if you ever want to get a personal reading with me, you can always go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.
Hey there Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly astrology and tarot general forecasts for the week starting April 8th, 2024. And just a quick reminder, if you ever want to get a personal session with me, you just need to go on ahead to my website, integrativemysticism.com. On the 8th, we've got our solar eclipse new moon conjunct Chiron in Aries, which is all about new roads, new beginnings, and new commitments, but also painful graduations, thanks to Chiron being there. And this is happening in your second house of income, employment, values, valuables, and even personal security. And over the course of this three-month window period following the 8th, you are going to notice some very cool new roads and new beginnings opening up for you that are going to improve your quality of life, both financially and professionally. You may even find that over the course of this period, you are getting a chance to migrate yourself in, onto a road or into a lane or into a space where you are not only feeling more materialistically comfortable and safe and secure, but you are also feeling a lot more at home in the world and in your work and just in how you are getting on with everything around you, right? Because this is also an area that rules values. However, painful graduations, thanks to Chiron, are going to be a big part of this. And it could very well be that while this is all for the good, we may also be departing a lot of familiar arrangements and familiar spaces and faces in order to make this so. And some of you may even find that this is going to create some cognitive dissonance with your value system, whether this is a value system that is organic and natural to you, or a value system that was maybe instilled in you, um, you know, through external influences. But we got to be ready to power through and, you know, let the good happen to and with and for us. And we got to work with it too, so that you can actually celebrate the wins that are coming, even though they might be painful wins. On the 10th, 11th, and 12th, we've got Mars conjunct Saturn in Pisces. So your sign. And this is all about full stops, shutdowns, and potential conflicts. And when we have these two come together in your sign, this is a time where you may find that something that you have been committed to or something that you have been carrying on, something that you yourself either initiated or co-created <clears throat> or maybe maintained is coming up for a full stop and a shutdown. And this could be something that is revealed to be the wrong thing for you. It might be costing too much. It might have taken us down the wrong road or, or put us on the wrong life path or just set up something that is creating um, issues for us that we do need to let go of. And conflicts can often come up here uh, because of that, right? Because this could be a tough love aspect that not everybody fully understands until we get a little bit later on. And that's something I've been talking to everybody about here. Sometimes you'll be dealing with people that don't see why it's necessary until the back half of April. You may be having to do some shutdowns, some closes or closures yourself, or you may find that it's time to call something quits for the greater good. So that is what we've got for your astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with your tarot and the traffic. Okay, Pisces, time to have a look and see what's going on with your tarot and the traffic. And you'll notice I've actually written on these cards. These cards are about to get gifted to somebody else. And so I've written some prompts on them so uh, they will be able to, you know, learn tarot a little bit more quickly. This is what I did for myself many, 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 many years ago. That's how I, you know, started a lot of my training. And so I figured I would pay it forward there for them. And so let's see what their last lap on this channel has to say for you and your coming week before we switch out to another deck. One sec.
Okay. So we've got spiritual themes, what this week is all about, money and material concerns, news and messages from other people, challenges, and love, romance, and partnerships. Okay. So this week, your big theme is the Two of Swords reversed. And so this is going to be a week where a lot of commitments, a lot of decisions, a lot of deliberations are going to be coming to a head and getting made. This is about getting a chance to finally lock in a lot of roads, uh, lock in a lot of trajectories. But you are going to find that as you are making these decisions, you know, this is also going to be excluding a lot of things as well. The Two of Swords Reversed is about finally getting a chance to get clarity on things where we have been maybe waffling or stuck at a crossroads. The road will be chosen. The road will be decided. Now, this could be very good news, especially if you've been maybe waiting to see what is down each option. You're going to get finally a, a better sense of what's going on there, what your best options are. But this is also going to be a week where a lot of commitments, again, are getting locked in and, and more secure. And so just pay close attention to what is coming up around all of those areas is there. For your work, job, finances, practical affairs, you've got the Four of Swords upright. And so things are going to be pretty calm here. This could be seen as a slow card as well. So if you are in a situation where this might not necessarily look like good news, you're going to want to be a bit more ambitious in terms of drumming up more uh, work for yourself. But this could also be a welcome break, a welcome pause in terms of just being able to take it easy and relax for a while. This is also a card of regeneration, and so this could be spell good news as well with regards to recuperating or maybe regenerating funds or finances that maybe you have been operating at a deficit with or that you've been kind of falling behind with or have been kind of trickling out of your wallet, trickling out of your accounts. But you are going to want to make sure that you are diligent about, you know, again, if if, if things feel like they are too slow or they're not moving, um, you know, just, just kind of check in, get involved, follow up. For your community, friends, relatives, and other people in your life, you've got the Ace of Pentacles upright. And so there's some really good news coming in on the financial note through a contact. The Ace of Pentacles is all about security, good fortune, but also things that are going to be securing a connection or a pursuit or maybe a, a venture that will last. Or this could be some kind of transaction or gift that keeps on giving. This could also be an important hookup or handoff that is going on, or maybe something that is presenting a gift that is both to be enjoyed by you and the person giving it. And with the Ace of Pentacles, this is also going to, um, it's, it's going to be something that you can uh, continuously work with. Now, this could be a new job opportunity, maybe for some of you who are looking for it, or this could be something else uh, entirely, but it is going to be bringing a lot more um, joy into your material world and your personal world at the same time. For your challenge this week, you've got the Eight of Cups upright. The Eight of Cups is all about walking away, walking away from done deals, things that are over, things that have wrapped up, pushing off and, and getting on. And this could be you, or this could be somebody else, or this could be a lot of departures taking place this week. 
Now, for a lot of you, this could be you that is just being asked to, hey, get ready to walk away from things that have, you know, they've, it's the end of the line. Uh, these could be projects, these could be involvements, these could be journeys, and, you know, it's time to let a chapter that, for all intents and purposes, is done, be done and and turn the page or or pick up a new book this could also indicate though you may be dealing with some situations where other people around you may be making departures for however long and it could be because of that it could create some disruptions or some things you have to adjust to as you go through your week you know co-workers taking vacations or or maybe you know partners getting called out of town or or people in groups not showing up and so there could also be uh, some some bustle around that as well for your relationships and love and partnerships you do have the nine of cups upright which is all about happiness opulence and wishes getting granted and fantasies getting fulfilled and this could spell a beautiful week between you and a partner or a partner potential where you're getting a chance to finally connect or maybe explore uh, a, a deeper depth of uh, connection through a bit of a fantasy fulfillment. Now, this could be private, this could be something, you know, bedroom activity wise, or this could be out of a celebration of some kind of achievement or accomplishment, one or each of you is eager to celebrate. This could also indicate good news regarding maybe something in a partner's life. Maybe they are coming into a, a state of glory themselves. Maybe they're winning some kind of competition. They're crossing a milestone or they are getting a new job. Something is happening here where everyone is happy for the turn of events. For those of you who are single or are available or you have somebody but they're not official with you, this is indicating still some fantasy fulfillment and some uh, celebration in that respect as well. And it's possible a partner or a love interest, regardless of what your status is, could also be helping you fulfill a deeply personal wish by getting closer or more closely involved with that wish. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And if you ever want a personal session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.